Are you serious, folks? Are you serious? I mean, this is a major solar flare that has erupted on the sun. Uh, and we're just now getting information. The explosion, this X flare, well, it was almost an X flare. They actually classified it an M9 solar flare, almost an X flare. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded this extreme ultra-violent flash uh, and they say that it came from the sunspot AR2242. Now this explosion has caused a brief HF radio blackout on the daylit side of Earth. The event was minor, however that would have been noticed by only a small number of mariners or ham radio operators. But this thing was powerful and we've already felt it. You know, and that was, that's kind of strange because my wife said to me this morning when she first woke up, she said, I, my joints are sore. I said, mine are too. She goes, has there been a CME? I said, no, I haven't heard of any. Well, there had been. And, uh, and here is the report. It had happened. And we felt it. Earth, you felt it. All right? And if you felt it that quickly, then... Uh, you know, you have, to, you have to start looking around at earthquakes. You have to look today for, there could be some major earthquakes. You don't know if it happens to hit a spot where the tectonic plate is extremely weak. Now, Jesus said there'll be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. There'll be distress among nations with perplexity. And the sea and the waves will be roaring. And men's hearts would fail them for fear of things coming upon the earth. We've already been talking to you about the energy wave, this energy waves that are coming, these shock waves that are coming. And is planet 7X causing it? Or planet X or Nubaru or whatever you want to say. I mean, God said he was going to shake the heavens. Jesus said that would be one of the signs of the end times. And oh, by the way, that is actually said what happened before you talk about the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet. What I'm trying to tell you is, folks, we're living in the last days. And I mean, when I say this, I'm not just saying that off the cuff just to, you know, have something to talk about. I'm telling you, are you right with God? Jesus Christ is coming soon. I do not know. Nobody knows the day nor the hour. But we can see the day approaching, believe me. Are you going to be caught up forever to be with the Lord? In the great catching away, are you going or will you be left behind to face the wrath of God? There'll be nowhere to hide then. The Bible says that the kings of the earth and the rich men and the mighty men and every chief captain and every bondman and every free man will hide themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and hide themselves and they will cry out to the rocks, to the mountains, fall on us. Hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne. For the great day of his wrath has come, folks. Don't be a part of that. Get saved. Give your life to Jesus Christ. And not just only get saved because he's coming soon, but start living life to its fullest. Start getting filled with the joy of the Lord. Wow. That's what it's all about. Having the joy and the love and the peace. Shalom deep in your soul, in Jesus' name.